During our interview with Assemblyman Billy Jones just a few minutes ago, he mentioned the towns and villages still reeling from the loss of a prison in their community. Lion Mountain, New York's prison closed in 2011. It has sat idle for nearly a decade. At the time, it was by far the largest employer in town. But now, all these years later, a new industry has come to town and is hoping to offset the loss of at least some of those jobs. It is a huge maple operation that has opened in Lion Mountain and is employing nearly two dozen workers. Our Jack LeDuke has more on that and some of the cutting edge research that's happening in the Adirondacks to try to help sugar makers boost their maple production. We want to take a product here made locally and ship it throughout the country, throughout the world. Those are big plans for this recently opened 15,000 square foot sugar house in the remote and former mining town of Lion Mountain. It is the biggest maple facility in our North Country. It turns out 800 gallons of maple or birch syrup an hour, flowing from 100,000 trees. Forest Farmers Production has invested millions in the latest technologies. We have two different uh, evaporators. One is a traditional oil-fired evaporator, and the other is a steam evaporator. We're running the steam one right now, and what that does is it takes high-pressure steam and it runs it through some coils, and the sap is surrounding those coils of hot steam and causing the, the water to evaporate off of it. And when you use steam, it doesn't have a direct heat source to the, the sap, and so you wind up getting a lighter syrup with more delicate flavor, not as, not as dark, not as strong or robust a flavor. Farrell said that with this multi-million dollar state-of-the-art technology, he can make as much syrup in an hour as some old-timers made in a year. Demand for maple syrup is increasing 6 to 10 percent a year. Many are looking for an organic sweetener. Maple syrup is naturally organic, coming straight from the tree. The demand, uh, as far as I know, has increased and, and hopefully will continue to increase. The, the key factor there is educating the public and getting more people to know what pure maple syrup is versus the Aunt Jemima's and, and the Mrs. Butterworth's. And the three products that come out of this plant are the New York State Pure Maple Syrup, Pure Birch Syrup, and a maple water drink, which comes out of here in bulk and is bottled in another plant. New processing methods here have made birch syrup even more popular than ever. We're actually the, the biggest birch sap and syrup producer in the world. And yeah, uh, so we have this year about 25,000 taps here at our operations in Ellenburg and another 22,000 at our facility in Vermont. So. Between the two facilities, we're producing the most birch sap and syrup of anybody uh, anywhere. I mean, that's a big part of our business. The operation currently employs 28 full-time workers and could reach 40 employees later on. Farrell said that they will soon have to increase the size of their facility as they add new taps on the unused land they are waiting to develop. We're only about... 30 to 40 percent built out for what we're eventually going to have processed through this facility. So as we continue to add more taps to our land, um, we bought 6,000 acres here last year and over time we'll likely have to build out a little bit just for, for that kind of storage and we, and we designed the facility to be able to handle the expansion. Just an hour's drive away is the Cornell Maple Research Station and E-Line Forest in Lake Placid. The popular Maple Research Station has advanced sugar making for several decades. We have some sugar maples that we're trying to breed and produce and get it to um, cross-pollinate with each other to have sweeter sap within the sugar maple. Research assistant Andrea Roebuck checks the sugar content of 350 trees under development in Lake Placid. The highest sugar content that I found so far is 12.6. And so just for context, the average tree is about uh, two and a half percent. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I have found that the higher the sugar concentration, uh, the lower the uh, amount of sap <laughs> that's flown. Uh, so I think there's probably a happy medium somewhere in there. 
The fact-finding done at the Cornell Research Station and the Eline Forest property is expected to show what species of trees are the sweetest to increase maple production in the future. While scientists see some sap sugar increase in trees, they are still evaluating their work. This reverse osmosis machine changed the way many sugar houses operate. So instead of having to boil off the 40-some gallons of water from our sap and sit in the evaporator and boil and boil and boil into the wee hours of the morning, this machine actually strips the water from the sap as it flows in. So instead of using um, our evaporator and using heat, um, we use a lot less energy to actually help remove some of the water. While Canada produces 80% of the maple syrup in the world, production in New York State has quadrupled over 15 years and continues to expand while delighting our taste buds. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Lion Mountain.